Hello everyone and welcome back to Factory Town. Now, in the last episode, we managed to establish ourselves a decent little uh, production line over here. We even began work on some research. However, uh, once we set up the farm, which has largely uh, automated and in, in fact uh, reserved certain resources, we're never going to run out of carrots, we're never going to run out of, uh, well, I mean, we will always have grain and we probably will run out frequently, actually. Uh, but the next step is to get to the same sort of place with trees. Now that's going to require a few things first. Namely, we're going to have to set up a pasture because to set up the uh, the planters and all of the um, fields around the farm to really get those things working, we're going to need fertilizer. Now, if we have a look in at our research area, because we don't really want it to be sat there, we very much want basic logistics. If we can get conveyor belts, then that solves two problems. One, certain resources can't be used on a shoot. It's really for very, um, it's for raw resources, really. So any kind of, um, well, probably conveyor belts is a good example. They wouldn't be able to move down a shoot. They can move on conveyor belts because they're powered. However, conveyor belts have another really big advantage, and that is that they can go up hills. That is a huge thing. It will allow us to position our buildings much, much better in the future. So whilst that's researching, let's go ahead and have a look at some of the buildings that we can make. Now, what do we want for a forester? We should be able to build a forester already, and that will be useful. Now, one of the reasons why building a forester right away is not going to be as great for us is because a forester isn't quite as easy as a farm. A farm can just straight up harvest grain, can straight up harvest carrots, whatever, and it makes them, and that's really super useful. A forester, however, to replant a tree, uh, when a farm has used this up, it'll just replant it. Doesn't really cost anything. I think it might cost a, a few gold coins or something like that, but a forester requires red coins, so we're really going to want an input of uh, of red coins we're also going to want to try and move this little area around we've got a load of cotton over here by the way which is uh, actually quite quite tempting i may even have um some of our peeps gather this up and we may set up a cotton farm somewhere which would be very useful for clothing and the likes but for the time being what do we want to do well right now until we've got fertilizer we're kind of limited in where we can build any kind of farm we have to gather naturally occurring produce that's probably one of the first things that we should we should address we want fertilizer so that we can start putting farms where we want them not necessarily where the land already has access to things now before we actually get down to this because uh, i do want to show off a little bit of something you can do regarding water one of the things that we lack over here well fertilizer we can't do but water we can we have got wells so let's pop one of these down and see exactly how that works so we've got a well here uh, let's pop the well. Sure, we'll pop the well just about there. There we go. Now, the well is automated. It just makes water and it fills it up until it can't produce any more, which is rather useful. However, next we need to move it across. And as you probably guessed, you can't use shoots for that. I mean, it would probably make a little bit more sense than like rolling conveyor belts down a chute, but you, you can't. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a wagon, just position itself there, and this wagon, all I want you to do, move water from one to t'other. There we go. Super duper useful. Now, water will only be used when regrowing a tile, and it will accelerate how fast that tile regrows. So we're not going to see an immediate effect here, but it will happen. And also, you know what, let's uh, get that all the way up to the full 10 workers. Now, our happiness is putting that up at 355%. I approve quite a lot. Um, still, all of this is being used far, far faster than it can, than it can realistically be uh, be shunted down. So that, that's, uh, for now, not something we need to worry about. But I've shown you how to do it with a well. We build the building, and then we have to use a, uh, a wagon, so a population point, to make use of it. That is not the only way, however. Let's go ahead and drop that in there. We've made a little bit of water. We've hit the water table. As you can probably guess, if we now build a farm near that, the farm is going to immediately draw water from it, and uh, that will be quite useful for us. So we've got another farm now. So auto automatic of water is starting to gather grain. We're not going to put any extra workers in there just now. Now, what are we going to be doing with this farm? I hear you ask. Well, I'm glad you did. Uh, we are going to set up a little um, shoot down here. We're going to set up a 
grain mill. This grain mill in particular is going to be making animal feed. There we go. Now this is going to be a very important component in our pastures. Now pastures, much like farms, require uh, water. So we're going to pop this probably down... Hmm, I'm not sure how many pastures we're going to want, but let's just drop a little bit of water in between them. Uh, that way we can have two for now and uh, we may add more later. I do want to reserve a little spot for a path to go through here. I could happily build this pasture over here if I really wanted to, but um, let's pop one there. And I'm thinking we're going to pop one there. Now, why am I building two, you might ask? Well, one of the things I want, as you may recall, certain things that are meat specifically will produce red coins. Very, very important. Very super useful for us. It only requires one animal feed, feed to do that, and we'll get one coin from having an egg. Now, if we wanted to go for raw chicken, that would be quite useful. That so it would produce two. We'd be getting two animal feed for that, but we would also be getting some fertilizer. That is our primary goal right now, but we're going to need these red coins for the forester in time. So this one is going to go ahead and start producing chicken. Oh, that being said, oh, of course, I could have them producing multiple things. I keep forgetting that this is now a pro possibility. You know what, then? Fine. Let's uh, let's undo that. I know we wasted a few resources, but it shouldn't be too bad. And we'll get this to come right down. Oops. There we are. And straight in. There we go. Now, with all of that animal feed, it is going to be using this up quite quickly, unfortunately. Uh, we may, in fact, need to uh, accelerate the amount of production we've got there, but we should start producing... We'll be producing the uh, fertilizer twice as fast as anything else, which is a kind of a problem. Now, the fertilizer in particular, we actually really do desperately need. But we don't really want to end up with any uh, any kind of um, backlog on the production at this pasture. So we want to move out the wool, we want to move the chicken out, and we ultimately want to move the fertilizer out into separate barns, I would say. So why don't we try and do that? Now, I know that barns can be... Um, you can specify what's allowed in a barn. Now, I'm dropping this area around here so that eventually we can access the water's edge and uh, possibly even set up some sort of bridge across to the main area, and I think that would be quite useful. But let's consider what we can do with barns first. Now, we will eventually want to have, well, perhaps, conveyor belts working on this, but that will probably be a little ways off because we'd need quite, quite um, funky logistics for that one. Still... We could set up a barn just to take the produce out of the the uh, pasture there. If I had three barns, I could tell them all to accept a different type of produce. Uh, it might be worth it. So let's give this a, a quick shot, shall we? I think we should. We're for sciencing this. I apologize. I am learning along with you. Hopefully that doesn't uh, doesn't upset any of you too much. Uh, there we go. Let's get that down. Now, I would like this barn specifically only accept, um, let's see, raw chicken. There we are. This barn only accept, oh, there we go. We've got our cloth conveyor belt and we've also got the structure one way. So you can actually set up one way roads, which will be very, very useful. We are going to need intermediate logistics for things like splitters and filter blocks. I wonder what that will cost them. Conveyor belts are a critical tool for automating your town. Place them on a building's output tile and resources will automatically be placed on them. And you can directly feed resources into any other side of uh, or level of a building. Ex oh, level? I guess that does have a height. Maybe I could just feed it through the windows. Uh, that seems a little bit weird, but sure. Uh, intermediate logistics. We could go for that. Ooh. Now that is a much more expensive one to get. We could also go for steam power, but I think intermediate logistics is what I want. So uh, crack on with that, please, and thank you. Now, uh, so we're going to want, this barn here is for chicken. This one shall be for wool. There we go. And finally, 
This one shall be for fertilizer. Now, where is the fertilizer? There we go. Fertilizer. Right. So with that done, I'm going to want some wagons. Specifically, well, one for now. And I should be able to tell them, go ahead and offload anything you can pick up. Will that one wagon be able to deal with everything after that? It will. Well, now that is stupendously useful. The problem is, though, it's going for the chicken first at all times. That will eventually back up, I fear. Still, very, very useful for me. Uh, continue to move that around, and then we'll start moving on the wool. Now, the question I have is if that is over full, will that cause any particular problems? I don't know. I really don't know. But, now you might be wondering, well, is the fertilizer getting there? Unfortunately, no. We must move that fertilizer ourselves. So I would actually like another wagon. Now this wagon will be just for moving the uh, the fertilizer out of this barn. Um, well, we could get something across here. I imagine. Sure. Okay, let's uh, let's set up a little bit of a, a structure around here, shall we? I think we should. I would like a bridge just coming out over the water. Uh, that'll, that'll kind of offend me a little bit if I kind of ging the system there. Uh, be true to yourself, everyone. Uh, if, if it feels like it's gaming the system, probably is. Uh, that'll do. Oh, I can't afford anymore. Oh, that's bad. Right, could you stop moving that around for me then? Please and thank you. Oh, oh no, we, we've still got a decent amount of uh, stuff being put in there. However, I'm sort of feeling that uh, that's getting a little bit over full with just regular stone. Could you move some of that stone back? There we are. Perfect. Absolutely wonderful. Right, okay. You can now move the regular um, polished stone back across. Okay, so well, as soon as we've got a, a couple of those polished stones, we should be able to continue our building down here. There we go. Get those pillars in place. There we are. I'm not going to feel like quite as much of a scallywag now when I build these bridges across it, because it makes sense. It's important to make sense, in my humble opinion. Right. We are going to want you to supply the barn. I could tell it, just go and find me fertilizer. Or I could tell it, deliver everything from the barn to the nearest. Can you do that? You will. Oh man, that's useful. That is fantastically useful. Okay. Will that mean you'll automatically take it up there as well? Oof. Now, that is something I had not con had not properly looked into before. But that is fantastically useful. Hmm. We'll see how that goes for now, but I, I think that may end up being really, really good. Uh, we can use planks to just go ahead and upgrade the pasture a little bit. And in fact, we can use polished stone. I think we shall. There we go. That's with one person there, we're producing quite a lot of materials. Excellent. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, we don't have enough... Population. Well, that's a bit awkward. Uh, do we have enough uh, input over here? Once you've delivered this, will you deliver over to this farm? That's what I'm really waiting to find out. That would be fantastic if it's the case. Absolutely fantastic, in fact. Well, we have all of the materials that we need to start the production of cloth conveyor belts. I'm going to say, go ahead and drop this off for now. Hmm. Could we go ahead and add in cloth? We can. A cloth conveyor belt. Can we then have you deliver everything from the workshop so they need no. Go out and collect the necessary resources for me. Where are you delivering it to? Oh, you're delivering it. Ah, now that is not necessarily what I want you to do. You're dropping it off in the base in the tree. Mm. All right. Well, it was kind of useful, but... Mm. 
Not entirely certain that I like that. Is there a way for me blacklisting any resource in here? No. Okay, well, we found a, a limitation then on that system. Still, it's quite, quite cool. All the same, but there we go. We're delivering the wool and the planks are already being delivered, so... That is actually incredibly awesome. Incredibly awesome. You're gathering this... Uh, oh, it's stone as well. So, yeah, this one wagon is doing everything it needs to keep us producing the uh, cloth work... Uh, cloth conveyors. Well, that is absolutely fantastic. But... I'm going to say, please deliver this down to this farm. I want to make sure that farm is, is kept going. All right. Well, we're at our limit of houses, but we can actually upgrade the houses with polished stone. So let's go ahead and do that and get ourselves a few more workers in the mix. There we go. I want another two wagons, probably. I would like to deliver fertilizer up to this farm as well, please. There we go. That'll, that'll do quite nicely now then we are actually we've reached the limit of our production here so we want to get more people working on this farm uh with that let's continue upgrading our houses now the thing with upgraded houses it there's a reason not to when you upgrade a house it will start consuming its resources a little bit faster because there's more people living in the house i imagine that's uh, that's what that's all about uh, but with that, yes, you've got more population, and you've also got more potential for happiness, but you might also lose a lot of happiness that way. So it's, it, it is a bit of a double-edged sword in a way. Now, we are definitely going to need my mill working at uh, its maximum capacity. Okay, we're going to be uh, producing raw chicken, and then wool, and then raw chicken, and then wool. Uh, we should keep them both going reasonably well. Got a lot of raw chicken at this point. Okay, we could deliver the raw chicken to the nearest location. Uh, actually, I'd simply like you to deliver it straight to the food market. That should start bringing in a good amount of uh, red coins. If we have a look at it down here, it's going to take us a long time to get to intermediate logistics, which is a bit of a pain. Ooh, and we've also snagged uh, a bit of a problem here over this bridge. We do need alternate paths around, don't we? Okay, let's uh, see what we can do. Let's drop that right down. Hmm. Honestly, this workshop is not really in the ideal location here. I'm thinking it would probably be best if I just go ahead and move it. Uh, you can go wherever you're headed. Let's just empty this workshop out. All of these wonderful conveyors. There we go. And if you would kindly move these out as well. There we go. And with that, I'm going to get rid of this workshop. Goodbye, workshop. You have ser served me fantastically well for a long time. We are in your debt. But times are changing. We need to move things around. Now, I'm thinking the new workshop, we could put it in a probably a better location, frankly. But let's, for the time being, let's just keep it nice and simple. We'll have the workshop over here. I just want to make a little bit more room for, for wagons to pass along this bridge. Damn it, they've done it again. Oh, you're gonna be you're gonna be a bit of a potch, aren't you? I can tell. Let's go ahead and build the supports. There we are. Then we can just build the wooden uh, sorry, the stone bridges all the way across there. There we go. Now my wagons can get around a little bit better. Right. I would like you. So that recipe to make cloth conveyor belts. And the cloth, if you can't make the conveyor belt. The wooden wheel, if you can't make the conveyor belt. I would like you very much to deliver all the necessary components. There we are. Now, unfortunately, you will grab them from the uh, from the base there, which does kind of suck a little bit. But uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get that uh, going reasonably soon. There we are. And once... We've got enough planks in here. We'll just be making the wooden wheels ourselves. Uh, yep, everything seems okay. Now, I'm going to grab some more stone. Hopefully, you will head off and uh, grab the cloth yourself. Now, are we going to make a bunch of red coins? There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we're starting to get things 
moving. How much fertilizer? We've got a lot of fertilizer. We've got a little bit of wool. We've got an enormous amount of chicken. Oh my lord. Uh, right, let's get some better paths around here then so that my wagons can move a little bit faster. There we go. We'll double that up once again. And I believe we will actually need... Oh, uh, we're out of stone. Unfortunate, that one, but okay. Uh, right. Well, this actually is going to give us an opportunity to turn something. Do we have any cloth, cloth conveyor belts made? We may do. Uh, go ahead and draw the cloth conveyor belts out. Let's see. Do we have a cloth conveyor? We do. Can I pop one down to draw out? Oh, that's fantastic. We can finally get that all going auto in an automated way. This is actually really, really quite good. Now, we can, I believe you can use a combination of conveyor belts and chutes. So you, you can just move things around as need to be, really. Uh, how's things in there? Well, I've got a little bit of stone in there still. Let's uh, move some of that back if we can. There we go. There we are. Let's just drop it off and once more. There we are. That's fine then. You don't need to do any more. You can drop that off. Thank you. Right, so we've got a free wagon then, as far as I can tell. Which I'm pretty stoked for, actually. Okay, things are moving around. We've got conveyor belts when we need. I'm not going to use the conveyor belts over here until I can specifically say only put carrots on that conveyor belt. Uh, I think anything else would be a bit silly. Uh, this has gone uh, quite awry. We need that to be improved. But we can now, at the very least, make use of a proper forester. How are we going to set this one up? This is no longer in a particularly ideal location, I must confess. Um, well, the first thing we could do, actually. Sure, let's set something up over here, then. So just bring this down so it's not quite as aggressive of a, uh, of a level there. And let's see about building us a forester. This was the, the goal for this episode. Get one of these up and running. Now, we want it in a good place so it can grab a lot of trees. Now, that seems to be a fairly good location here. Uh, something like this, perhaps. I would get from both sides. Uh, or I could put something right up on top there. But that wouldn't necessarily be a good placement because it would almost certainly interfere with the uh, with the way the shoot would work around here. Something here, though, might work. Now, I'm not going for peak efficiency. Obviously, I never really do. Uh, but maybe on the side would be a little bit better, in fact. Let's uh, drop that down. It's a little bit harder to see the, the ramps there. But I think on the side we'll get a little bit more of the, of the trees. Because as much as I'm you know, not going for peak efficiency. I do. I don't want to be silly about it. Uh, something around there may work. Let me just uh, reposition the camera so we can see the scaffolding. So I think it's going to matter a bit. Yeah, sure. We'll have this right there then. Pop that forester in and later on we can add a few more. Now, it costs one red coin for every wood. It was, Sorry, earlier on I, I believe I may have misspoken. Um, if I, in fact, I did mention the red coins, but it costs a red coin to chop the tree, not to replant it. The replanting is automatic, but just chopping the tree costs a red coin. So you have to have a constant supply of red coins for the forester to work. There we go. And I think what we'll do is we'll just come around the side here. Sure, then we'll head on down. Something like that. There we go. And that is going to free up a couple of our peeps. No longer need them working this conveyor. There we go. Uh, if you would like to, you can drop off your log over there. And the same to you, actually. Go ahead and drop it off in there. There we are. We now have automated paper production, basically. That will never run out now, which is quite useful. Uh, okay, you still don't seem to be able to do that, so why don't you uh, drop it off down here instead. 
And once you've done that, I will retire you and you can uh, do something else for a little while. As you can see in the farm over here is uh, made, uh, has chopped down all of the grain that was available and as a result can no longer do anything. So that's something that we want to fix. Uh, let's remove you. Now the paper here being produced, we could do away with the uh, wagon here as well. Goodbye wagon, because we now have conveyor belts. So why not? Now we're gonna want it to come out like so. And then something like that should do. Perfect, there we go. Now that little chain completely automated and I am so, so happy to see that. Now then, let's go ahead and show off how the farm tiles work then. Let's go into farming. We've got farm tiles. You can place them within the catchment area of the farm, uh, which is actually quite generous, I find. You may want to adjust the terrain a little bit, uh, lowering the terrain here and there, because while these plants can grow on it, your buildings cannot. Uh, I'm not even sure that we're going to be able to adjust this. Ah, uh, yes, we can. Perfect. Okay, that works quite well for us. So with that done, we should be able to pop down a couple more farm tiles. There we go. Get all of those in place. There we are. Now, with that, we can go ahead and plant the grain. Now, if we've got enough, we do not. Uh, therein is the problem. Okay. Well, what I'm going to want to do is I'm temporarily going to want to uh, reduce all the workers in this mill. And we're going to want to store some of the grain that we've got available. Oh, actually, I could have done the same thing over here, really. Um... Actually, that would have been a better place to do it, so sure. We'll do it that way. This way, I'm going to basically shut this grain mill down, and so very quickly, this is gonna start accumulating grain, because once the input is full over here, this wagon will stop hauling it around, and then we'll, it'll allow it to just build up. It's always, always, always useful to have any um, resource that you're producing stockpiled somewhere, at least once. Um, just so that you can do things like this, really. Uh, with that done, we should be able to turn around and get these tiles as well. And so, whilst it doesn't specifically increase the speed of the of the farm, it used to, actually. Uh, in one of the very early builds, having the farm tiles increase the speed and product productivity of the farm. Now, they actually grow the grain and then you need to wait for it to regrow when once you've completely harvested that tile. So it, it's actually a pretty cool system in my opinion. Um, so it just reduces the downtime, but doesn't end up with ridiculous production out of a single building. Because if you surrounded it with enough tiles, then these buildings would just, it was like rapid fire. It was something out of, uh, out of plants with zombies. It was bonkers, whereas now it is not. Uh, right, how are we doing over here? Reasonably well. We're waiting on what? We're waiting on more wool. Is that going to be brought over? What are you doing specifically? You are trying to drop off... Ah, okay, so there is one of our problems. Uh, it appears the planks are full, so maybe I should have a second wagon dedicated to this. What are you going to grab? If you grab planks... No, you grabbed wagon wheels, okay. And some more stone, but now we don't need stone. Hmm. Alright. I think we may need to move these things around. Yes. Yes, I think what we could do, if we change the recipes... Let's remove the cloth conveyor so that we make cloths first, then wooden wheels, then the cloth conveyor belt is at the very bottom of that list. There we are. That should force my uh, wagons to hopefully gather resources in a bit more of a, a sensible way. We'll see. They should have already gathered the cloth, frankly. Hmm. No. Okay. Well, given that, then I'll just have to go ahead and draw the uh, draw the wool up. It's quite a fair ways away, so that does make sense. Given that, I could actually convey the uh, the wool around, since it is a resource that uh, I'm only going to be using in that sense. Um, you 
know what, sure. I actually like that idea. Now, the only problem here is that it'll make crossing this area a little bit of a potch. Still, let's go ahead and see what we can do. Now, the conveyor belt will need to draw out my my uh, wool right there. Let's lower that down. Mm. It's going to be difficult to lower that down now, unfortunately. Uh, can I perhaps get that to work? No, unfortunately, I am actually going to have to sacrifice one of the cloth conveyors there. I do wish that weren't as finicky in that regard. Uh, but oh well, it is what it is. Uh, what we'll do is I'm going to make a little uh, bridge around here just so that I can move materials from one side to the other. So let's quickly pop up a little scaffold here, there. And we're going to want some ramps. There we go. Now, this will also allow me to showcase one of the things that changed in the game. Oh, this is quite some time ago, but it certainly caught me off guard when it happened. Used to be that as long as that any conveyor belt or chute was basically half a tile high or, or one tile high. But now you need an arch because if you build a scaffold above it, it blocks it. it basically, the idea would be the produce is just banging into the scaffold and so it can't move across. That makes sense when you think about it, but that did definitely catch me quite, quite off guard the first time, which wasn't very nice. All right, there we go. Right, okay, so we want to bring that conveyor belt out from underneath. We should have enough cloth conveyors, or at least one would help. So with that, now what I don't necessarily want to do is end up with the area here having any particular problems with, with passing. So, let's continue to lower this area down if we can. There we go. That'll do. Are we moving the cloth conveyors? No, we are not. Um, oh, there we go. We've got the sort of the push of the grab, and the split of the block, and the filter, and the advanced logistics. Okay, logistics blocks are placed on top of belts, chutes, and pipes to filter and redirect goods traveling down them. Grabbers can be used to pull goods from any side of a building onto a path. Grabbers can be used, oh. Now that's interesting. So you're no longer limited to the um, exit point of the building, right? That is very, very interesting. Okay, well, let's have a look at uh, logistics. So sorter will force matching items to take the specified path direction. Okay, one way redirects um, organized pusher will redirect matching items off a belt or shoot if there's a space. Otherwise, we'll let it pass. Okay, so that's uh, uh, that's a bit of an interesting one. That, I can already think of a, quite a few ways that one will work. We'll pull specified items out of a building onto a belt or a shoot. Right, we could use the grabber to specifically pull certain items out of a building. Right, okay, now that one is uh, reasonably expensive, but we could automate this whole area over here. Honestly, do we need to, though? I'm not sure we do. The wagon here is doing a pretty good job, I would say, though it is actually dropping off an awful lot of... Ah, you know what? No. Let's not have you doing that anymore. One thing you could do for me instead, you could be super useful and allow me to continue making uh, all of the the cloth conveyor belts. We've got our automation over here at the Forester. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if they dug this back a little bit more so I could get another Forester around here. We might even use conveyor belts over there. But one thing I would very much like to do is, if nothing else, try and automate this to the point that I no longer need wagons to move the stuff around. That would actually be quite, quite useful to me. So let's see about making a shoot. Uh, if I go to paths, cloth conveyor belts. We could perhaps pull out a regular... Um, let's say this one's just for chicken. So, bring up logistics blocks, the grabber, pop that there. Active on, item filter. Only pull raw chicken out of this. There we are, and that seems to have matched what was there just by uh, random chance. This should, at this point, only draw out chicken. That is my hope. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. Perfect. That works 
amazingly well. All right. Well, the next one then. Let's uh, pop down a. Well, we're not actually going to need the, the the wagons to come down here. So let's go ahead and pop down some scaffolding over over here because it will make my brain rot otherwise. Uh, let's grab another path, a conveyor. I would like that here. And for this one, I would very much like another grabber. Ah, 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 no, no, no. I would like you to only grab, uh, let's go for fertilizer on this one. Now, unfortunately, we are gonna end up with something going the wrong way. That's fine, overall. So let's bring this all the way out. And yes, it's gonna be kind of annoying. But it's fine, there we go. And can we actually get rid of that? Well, there is a way. It's a rather expensive way, but I'm super lazy, so we're going to do it that way. There we go. And next up, we are going to want to move... Can I put the grabber down automatically? Let's just see if I can do that, because that would be super useful for me. Oh, I can. Oh, that's so good. I wish I thought of testing that up first. All right, there we go, then. So I can put the grabber down. Anyway, oh, this is great. And now I just need one more. Then we have everything sorted. Well, that is absolutely fantastic and was well, well worth me setting up, I feel. Right, you're hauling all of the uh, chicken across. There we go, another cloth conveyor belt. That is gonna take, that. that is gonna be a bit of a pot. It's taken a long time to make these cloth conveyors and they're incredibly useful, so I want a lot of them. Nevertheless, here we go. There. Well, that is actually brilliant. Uh, so this barn is just gonna be full of raw chicken and it, it won't take any more than that. So uh, right now, the raw chicken production is basically gonna kind of grind to a halt, but that's fine. Uh, right, down here, what have we got going on? Ah, actually, you don't even need all of these there. It's kind of, well, I'm not sure there's much reason for me to change it, but uh, we'll see. I do not have purple coins. I do not have blue coins, but uh, metallurgy is probably the next thing that we want to go for, honestly. But with that, I think uh, we've, we've set up a decent bit of automation. I still need to move the wool all the way over to this workshop. There will be better ways of doing that in time, but for now, I think it's okay. We could probably just use a chute, honestly, rather than a conveyor. Um, the only reason why I would want to use a, conve uh, a conveyor is to get it up nice and high so that maybe a chute can take it further. You know what? That isn't a bad idea. I may just uh, rise that up onto some sort of nice, tall um, area and then just run a chute all the way down and straight into this workshop. But that's gonna be in the next episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed this one. We managed to do everything that we set out to do in the last episode, and that is get up the forest. So in the next one, if my peeps manage to clear enough of the tree line, we will put down another forester over here. But the next thing that we're probably gonna to want to start looking into is getting some, uh, some actual metallurgy going. So we'll wait on uh, the research there, and maybe we'll even get another, another pasture. Who knows? Maybe we'll try and start producing some leather. That would be quite useful. But that's going to be it from me. So until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.